Daily News Live with Harry Tink. And now, here's Harry. Good evening. I'm Harry Taint, and you're watching The Daily Deuce. In our top story this evening, the Deuce's very own Dick Lemieux has not been seen or heard from since filing his report on the missing chickens. If you have any information as to where you can find Dick, please call the FIB at 1-800-5-KL-I-A-R-S. Everyone here at The Deuce thanks you for your time. Closer to home, violence erupted at the concert for Community Peace and Tolerance last night. Nine people were shot, three critically, and one person was pronounced dead at the scene. That's a fucking shame. The Center for Political Correctness has now declared wishing somebody a Merry Christmas as the worst crime against humanity ever. A local cop was arrested for DUI two towns over last weekend. No charges will be filed. And earlier today, the governor addressed a group of protesters. He said to them, stay calm, remain peaceful, or I will eat you. Then his aides immediately blocked the drive through lane for security reasons. We'll be right back. We here at Tampax would like to introduce our new line of holiday-themed tampons. The candy cane will be available in time for Christmas. So when you're done eating out and it's time to dine out, just wash your face because your breath is already minty fresh. Welcome back, and this just in. Protesters did not stay calm and things got out of control. When we asked the governor how we handled the situation, his only comment was, they were delicious. We had some follow-up questions, but the governor was gracious enough not to speak with his mouth full. In a related story, the woman who tossed extra napkins at the governor was arrested for littering. She will be arraigned next Tuesday. The Olive Garden has recently changed their logo. We here at The Deuce would like to let the good people of Darden Restaurants know it's not the logo that sucks. Our politically incorrect dictionary will now refer to a large gathering of stupid people as dumb masses. Speaking of politically incorrect, it's time to check in with Chef and Rad and our boys at GonnaDrinkAndChow.com for our daily drool. Fellas, what's going on? <sighs> Hey, Harry, what is going on, my man? Thanks for checking us out. Hey, listen, I'm sorry I'm so close to the camera, but you know I have a problem speaking up, and it's fucking football Sunday, and we got shit going on. We got chicken fucking nachos to die for. So, you know, we're in the middle of making that happen, and uh, once more, my brother, thank you so much for your time and checking us out. Cheers. Great stuff, guys. Cheers. We'll be right back with weather and traffic. Hey folks, it's Chef. I want to ask you this. Do you want to serve breakfast in bed, but Pop-Tarts is the best thing you can cook? Are you fed up with the cooking shows that are all about the ratings and never about the truth? Does your ignorance lead you to the drive through to spend more money than you have to? Well then you need to check me out on GoodNightDrinkAndChow.com. Thanks for your time, and you're welcome. Now, here's a report from our man on the scene, Bud Green. Bud, take it away. Dude, what is this shit? Green crack, man. I just told you. I don't think he can hear us. What? He's, he's not answering. I can hear him. Stoner. Yeah, show your tits! Show them! Oh, man, this is the greatest. I love him with the valley. I love him with the valley. You have no understanding. I love it. What did they finally knew? He owes me like 60 bucks. I need it. It's like, I can't even afford 20 bags right now. Yeah, no, wait, I can't. I'll just, you know what I'm saying. 
Yo, boy. Yo, micro bomb. Ha. Get a little of this. Thanks, bud, for that report. I'll speak to accounting on your behalf. And speaking of dough, after pissing away $42 million of taxpayer money, government scientists have indeed concluded that alcohol does make people better looking. Big Alcohol is celebrating the news by raising their prices. They also plan to unveil a new marketing scheme with the hope that you'll be raising your ankles while lowering your standards. Cheers. And the local man, who was struck by lightning while trying to record the storm, is expected to make a full recovery at Memorial Hospital. When we asked him how he felt, he said it was the greatest experience of his life because he came twice while shitting his pants. And now it's time for weather and traffic. Thunder, what you got for us? Well, hey Harry, it's looking like high pressure is coming up from uh, the underneath of California and there's going to be mostly rain up in the northeast for this holiday season. On to you, Rush. Yeah, this is Rush can stop and go, bring you live with the traffic flow. We got a tractor trailer backed up on the I-70 approaching the 420 curve. Speeders be advised, slow the fuck down. Back to you, Harry. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back with sports. There is no sleeping in Seattle with Cox Television's new stone vampire series, True Bud, airing this Wednesday night. Because a friend with weed is a friend indeed. now sports. The American team is leading the medal count at the overweight Olympics. Some of the spectators were overheard remarking that the 100-foot dash resembled a herd of rhinos running in slow motion. Officials also announced the cancellation of the pole vault event due to gravity. The tortoise has been found guilty of blood doping and has been stripped of all victories versus the hare. And when you've run out of lucky jerseys, and your team still continues to lose, face it, your team really sucks. Maybe next year? Doubt it. Now it's time to check in again with the fellas at GonnaDrinkAndChow.com for our daily drool. Chef. Yo, Harry. Thanks for coming back. Nachos are done. It's Sunday, like I was saying. Chicken fucking nachos. It's just sauteed chicken with some seasoning, onions, different kinds of colored bell peppers, nachos and cheese in the oven. So thanks for uh, giving us some time on the Daily Deuce. We are the Daily Drool. Check out Gonna Drink a Chow and see how these come about. Come here, let's get that million dollar shot. The money shot. Yeah, that's what's up. These are chicken fucking nachos. And I eat this message. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the updates. Well, I want to let you know, while those guys were reporting, the FIB did get some information on our missing dick. We'll keep you posted in later episodes. And finally, fast food restaurants will be offering toilet paper as gift wrap for the gift cards you'll be giving your co-workers this holiday season. They're going to need it, and you should have known better, especially if you share a cubicle space with them. Happy Holidays! Merry Christmas! Peace! Watching the Daily Deuce live with Harry Taylor.